There goes. Back again. Uh, well, this time I suppose I'm not uh, giving out about Gemma for once. Uh, TMZ released footage of uh, Conor McGregor assaulting a guy, an old lad, in a bar back in April. Now, I know the guys had a checkered past between small instances I suppose of breaking someone's phone because they were he was a they were annoying him. I mean look fans get in people's faces the whole time and just the way it is. To rape allegations, which are a lot more serious. Uh the fathering children outside of the relationship he's in. Look happens as all I guess but at the end of the day he's with a woman. He has kind of sort of pictures taken of him with another woman. But he says he's never been with that woman. So, good body double, I suppose. Uh, there was other uh, instances, you know, where the people, I suppose, have seen him coming outside. Uh, have seen him... How would I put it? Uh, in houses, no better than shooting galleries or the likes. Uh, he's he's been around, you know. Even just not even going back to um, UFC uh, two 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 three, where he threw that thing at the bus, just the dolly at the bus there, just because someone confronted Artem Lobov. Like so be it. The man is able to look after himself, but Connor and a few mates hop on the plane, you know, go to New York, go to confront Khabib, he's on the bus, he throws something at the bus, he damage he injures two fighters who lose a fight purse because they can't fight. Rose Namagunas needed counselling for um a long time afterwards. Uh you know, there was huge legal fees involved there. Um, even, you know, that, but just just forgetting about all that, like, y y you know, people go to a bar to enjoy themselves. This, the Connor, no doubt the same. But you don't, just because someone turns down a free drink twice or whatever, there's no need to punch them in the face. Especially... With the age of this man, like, he looks to be like twice the age of Connor, or more even. But, here's the bit I thought, like, he hit the guy in the side of the head when he wasn't even looking at him. Now, Connor's a trained fighter, he should know better. That that guy didn't turn his head away quick enough that Connor, as quick as his punch was, hit him in the side of the head. He had already turned his head away when Connor hit him. That's a sign of an out and out scumbag. Now, I was watching a, a video too where Khabib said he should be jailed for that. He should be jailed for it, 100%. This isn't a case of hopping a, hopping a pulley or a, a dolly at a bus and hoping for the best just because you're a dickhead. This is a lot more fucking serious. Like, this is out and out assault or you know what could have been even worse if that had connected with the side of that old lad's temple he could have fucking dropped him it happens but he um fair play. look if the old lad does nothing about it fair play at the end of the day from what I saw in the video he was minding his own business he barely even looked in Connor's direction he just turned on the drinks he put the glass back over the bar that was it he had no interest that's on Connor you know, maybe the outlet doesn't drink whiskey. Maybe he just wasn't in the mood to drink it. So many connotations. It doesn't matter. I mean, he could put it on a level when, on on the when Stevie Gerrard got in that bar fight. But even at that, I know he leveled that dude. But the difference was Stevie Gerrard was looking at the guy when he hit him, and that guy was looking at him as well. That old lad had turned his head away to talk to him, talk to, but look to talk to someone else. And Connor just decides to left hook the side of his fucking head. That's that's fucking criminal. That's I mean, 
And the Irish courts, aren't, if it goes to that, they're not going to be as lenient on him as they, as they think, as he thinks. You know, I mean, this is this this is a lot more serious. I mean, John Kavanagh can kiss Connor's contract goodbye there because uh, it it you know. He mightn't be let back into the States if uh, he has this type of a record. It's bad enough, the one he has over there is what it is, but celebrity status over there gets you off the hook a lot easier than it does over here, especially with the footage being as damning as it was. You know, that's, I say it again, it's a serious fucking smack. And as Khabib said, and I'm be the biggest fan of Khabib, but at the end of the day, if you hit someone like that in the bar, you will be doing time. You should do time for it. And Conor McGregor should be no different. You know. I mean yeah he was trying to act a big man. Buying a few drinks or whatever. So be it. You know. But if someone turns it down. You don't fucking smack the side of the head off them. Just because they do. Especially when they're the age they are. I mean. Stupidity. Absolute stupidity. But. Uh, there you go. Rant about someone else. Uh, look, drop a comment, drop a debate, drop an argument, whatever. If they're, you know, good enough or stupid enough, I presume I'll get back to them. I usually go back to them all anyway. So, signing off, guys.